All right, I want to show the folks uh, another part of your uh, movie documentary, uh, and it talks about the reaction that you are getting from some of these uh, agnostic uh, astronomers, astrophysicists, some of the top people in the world, how they're reacting to the point that God created everything, or actually there's a creator uh, outside of space and time that brought it all into existence, and secondly, they're just really struggling with this thing of how the design characteristics keep on stacking up that shows them somebody was superintending over all of this. All right, let's watch this clip and I think you'll understand a little bit better. Watch this. So what are we to make of all the observations that the entire universe appears to have been meticulously designed for humans? You could just say, what a coincidence or it's just chance. But most astronomers don't seem to find those answers very satisfying. The fingerprints of intentionality and purpose are unmistakable. And here we confront the cause of the universe, what some astrophysicists call the entity. Listen to what a few prominent scientists have said about the origin of the universe. Physicist Paul Davies has moved from promoting atheism to conceding that the laws of physics seem themselves to be the product of exceedingly ingenious design. He further testifies, There is for me powerful evidence that there is something going on behind it all. It seems as though somebody has fine-tuned nature's numbers to make the universe. The impression of design is overwhelming. And astronomer George Greenstein, in his book, The Symbiotic Universe, expressed these thoughts. As we survey all the evidence, the thought insistently arises that some supernatural agency, or rather, agency must be involved. Is it possible that suddenly without intending to we have stumbled upon scientific proof of the existence of a supreme being? Was it God who stepped in and so providentially crafted the cosmos for our benefit? And then there are the words of Arnold Penzias who shared the Nobel Prize in Physics for the discovery of the cosmic background radiation. Astronomy leads us to a unique event a universe which was created out of nothing, one with a very delicate balance needed to provide exactly the conditions required to permit life, and one which has an underlying, one might say, supernatural plan. Finally, as Stephen Hawking concedes, it would be very difficult to explain why the universe should have begun in just this way, except as the act of a god who intended to create beings like us. The entity that brought the universe into existence must be the master of all space, time, matter, and energy. This entity must be powerful enough to create space-time dimensions at will and to exquisitely fine-tune an untold number of cosmic characteristics. More than 200 have been uncovered so far. The probability of all these known parameters randomly coming together would be one chance in 10 to the 215th power. A probability so incredibly tiny that statistically speaking, it's impossible. And this probability is becoming even more remote with every new scientific discovery. Such a high degree of design demonstrates that this entity must be a personal being with an amazing creativity, wisdom, power, care, and love to a degree far beyond human capabilities. He has fine-tuned the Milky Way galaxy, the solar system, and planet Earth so that spiritual life can be fused with physical life in this one small place for one brief span on our timeline. 